Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on the feature web to desk of appmaker.xyz. The web to desk feature is basically web to desktop. It allows you to convert your favorite websites into desktop apps in one click. A lot of the no code tools that we use do not have their own desktop apps and are only accessible through their respective websites. What this tool right here will allow you to do is download these websites as desktop apps that you can launch at any time and you won't have to go through the hassle of logging into the website each and every time as you'll have the app right there on your desktop already logged in and everything ready. So I'm going to show you an example of how to use this website. Here we have a few fields that we have to fill out. We have website URL. I'm going to be converting the collect.chat website into a desktop app. So let's put in collect.chat right there and let's name the app. Let's say collect chat. The app icon is already retrieved from the website itself. So we don't need to change that. And then we'll come down here and put in our email and choose our platform. Let's go for Windows. And if you pay a premium fee, you can also remove the app maker branding. Let's create desktop app and we can see it's building the app right here. We just have to wait for a while and our app will be ready to download. And there we go. Our app is now ready to download. So let's just download that. Okay, now it's downloaded. Let's go to where it is. Show in folder. Uh, here it is in our folder. So let's unzip this file. And when we open that folder, we can see our application right here, which we can launch. That's our app maker splash screen and there we are collect.chat in a desktop app with all the functionalities that you'll get through the website. Here you can enter your email address and get started creating your chatbot and we scroll down and we have all the features that are provided to us by the website and just like that any no code tools that you use that do not already have a desktop app you can convert them into a desktop app to make your life easier. So thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned something here today. If you have any suggestions for any no-code tools that you would like us to cover, please leave them down in the comments below. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.